Hello everyone, my name is Xavier, also known as Zav. I'd like to welcome you guys to creating tables in PostgreSQL. Okay, so today the tutorial is all about creating tables, but what are we creating tables for? What is our database going to be about? Well, I've been thinking about this long and hard, and I've uh, come up with the idea of building a database for a car rental system, a car rental business. And uh, what we are going to do today is two things. We're going to first to design our database and tables. Then, once we've designed uh, the tables, we are, we are actually going to create them within the server. I think it is always best when you have an idea about something to put things down to paper using pen and paper or using, uh, in my case here today, uh, a simple text editor. So, uh, this car rental business, uh, what do we need? Well, uh, I think that we need three basic tables. The first table uh, will be T-Cars. I always name my tables T-something, so I know that the name refers to a table. Okay. So T-Cars is going to be our first table. Obviously, we need it to keep track of all the different cars we are renting out. Our second uh, table, I think we need a table that will keep track of all of our customers. So we're going to create a T customers uh, table. And the third table, which I believe we need, is a table that will link both two uh, tables, T cars and T customers, together. And we will call this uh, table T rentals. Okay? And this will tell us when uh, we've made a rental and which car was rented to which customer. All right, so I've already uh, created some uh, information, some data in, uh, in this document, and I've already come up with a design for T cars. This design is not by any means a complete design. We can always uh, add columns, to this table and we can always modify the description of some of the columns but this will be for a later tutorial. During this tutorial I will also introduce you guys to some terms you may not have heard before. Things like primary key. Okay, A primary key is what we call a constraint. Okay, So I will introduce you to different terms like primary key, foreign key, constraints and other things. Don't worry about it, just follow the tutorials and in the future I will create a tutorial about constraints, primary keys, foreign keys and any other kind of other things, including data types because obviously each of the columns within a table needs to uh, match a certain data type. As you can see here, I'm talking about serial, I'm talking about the varchar, so don't worry if you don't know what these things mean. I will try to explain some of them as we go along. And if you look for a tutorial on constraints, you will be able to get some information about what constraints are. Okay, so uh, on to our first uh, table, T-Cars. I think uh, we need uh, four main columns in there. The first one being car ID basically uh, a unique ID for each of the cars that we will be renting out. Uh, this car ID will be a serial. What this means is that when the table is created with a serial column, Postgres will create what we call a sequence. A sequence is a little bit of code that resides in the database server in, in the memory while it's running. And every time there is a new entry in the T cars table, this car ID uh, column will be incremented by one. Okay, so effectively it's an integer. It's a it's a number, an integer that will be kept in memory or on disk, and this will be incremented by one every time there is a new record entered into the T cars table. We don't want uh, this column to uh, accept any null values, so that is why I've put not null. This column must not accept any nodes. And also, we want this column to be what we call the primary key. Now, what is a primary key? Well, let me explain very quickly. So, a 
primary key uh, in a relation uh, in a re relational database design uh, is a candidate key to uniquely identify each row in a table. Okay, so primary key uh, comprises a, a single column or a set of columns, but the no two distinct rows in a table can have the same value. Okay, so each row will have a unique primary key. And every time a primary key is created within a table, an index is also created. An index table is also created. What's an index? Well, it's pretty simple. If you take an encyclopedia, or if you take a, uh, a textbook, for example, or a recipe book, there is always an index at the beginning or the end of the book to help you uh, easily access uh, the recipes or any other kind of information that you want uh, from that book. Well, an index in a database is exactly the same thing. An index table allows a database server to access data uh, rapidly by looking at uh, where in the uh, table the data may be situated and homing onto this data. Okay. So, uh, depending on, on its design, a table can have uh, arbitrarily many unique keys, but at the most, it can only have one primary key, and this is very important to remember. Okay? All right, our second column in the TCARS uh, table will be called car brand. Okay, actually, it's going to be called brand. Okay? And it will uh, have a data type of varchar32. Now, what does this mean? Well, uh, varchar uh, means varying character. Okay? And it will uh, basically uh, allow us to enter a string in there, the, the, the brand name of a car, okay? And this string of characters can be up to 32 characters long. But it doesn't have to be. It can be two characters long, five, ten, and so on, up to 32. And what we're going to do with this uh, column is that we're not going to allow any null values. Obviously, every car uh, belongs to a brand, so it would be silly of us to enter a new record in a TCAS table and not have a brand for a particular car. Okay, uh, the third column will be the car type. Actually, we're going to call this type, I think. And again, this will be a string of characters, so varchar32. And again, it will not accept any null. Okay, so what is the type of a car? Well, for example, the brand could be Volkswagen, okay, and the type could be Passat polo, and so on, okay? So we can uh, choose, or our customers can choose which cars we want to drive. And then, uh, the last column, we call it color, and I do apologize for our American friends here, but uh, I live in London, in England, and uh, in here in the UK we spell color with uh, O-U-R, I know you guys in America spell it O-R, I'm sure you'll be, you'll be fine with that. So we're gonna have the color column, this will also be a string, uh, 16 long or up to 16 uh, characters long. I don't know of any colors that take uh, 16 uh, characters, but you never know. You know, when you design a database and you think about the different columns you want to put in a database, it's very difficult at times to figure out, uh, first of all, what the data type should be for each column. And also, when we talk about strings, how long the strings uh, should be, or up to how many characters uh, a string should be. So that's not too much of a problem. If we encounter uh, problems in the future with the length of the strings, we can always modify uh, the column definitions, which we'll look at in a future tutorial anyway. OK, so this color, uh, co uh, this color column here will not, actually, will allow this, maybe, to take some nodes. Okay? Now, on to our uh, second table, which is the uh, T-Customers table. I've created uh, a little something earlier. By the way, these are not the definitions. This is not code at all. Okay, we will look at the code later on how to create those tables. All right, so the T-Customers table. What have I got here? Well. I've got five or six uh